Hello and welcome to my review of Mr. Miracle Number no. 1 by writers Tom King and Mitch Gerritz. It received a score of 9.2 from critics and 9.2 from users on Comic Book Roundup. And the title of the issue is Meet Mr. Miracle. And I want to say that First of all, Mr. Miracle is a character created by Jack Kirby in the 1970s, so basic background information. And he created it after leaving Marvel in a dispute with Stanley over ownership of some of the, and royalties, ownership of pages that he drew and royalties for characters he created, if I remember correctly, uh, while at Marvel. And he came to DC, DC and created a series of characters who were gods and told tales that spanned dimensions, had grand ideas, great fight scenes, philosophical colloquies, and in many ways expanded the vocabulary of the comic book superhero in a way that only Jack Kirby could. So after finishing his run on the vision at Marvel, Tom King was asked to do something similar at DC by DC head Dan Didio. And after going through a list of characters, he was given the okay to use Mr. Miracle. And here we are given quite a different take on Mr. Miracle. So as I said before, Jack Kirby's Mr. Miracle was cosmos spanning, whereas Tom King's Mr. Miracle is a comedy in one way, it's a dark comedy of, of manners, and in other ways, also an exploration into trauma and war. And those two, those two themes are, are sort of the grand themes of Tom King. Tom King and Mitch Jarrods had worked together in The Sheriff of Babylon, which is a war comic book, which, if I'm not mistaken, will return for a second season and was grounded in realism, although there was a very strong dark humor in that. So that's one thing that, that ties those two series together. Uh, for precursors, though, apart from Jack Kirby, there were two films from the 1980s, The Temptation of Christ and Jacob's Ladder that also form a, a sort of nucleus to what what this story is like. and. The reason I bring those two up is the last, first of all, the quote I have from an interview Tom King gave in Paste Magazine, quote, Mr. Miracle is Jesus as an escape artist. And that's not Tom King's conception of the character. That's what other people had told him the character was. If I remember right, it was the comic book writer. Name is not going to come to me. Uh, darn it. No, very prominent comic book character confided in Tom King. That's that's the character. That's Mr. Miracle. Jesus as an escape artist. And so Last Temptation of Christ contains a very extended, long extended scene where Christ is given the chance to live his life at, uh, and not be the sacrifice of God. So he's given the chance to have children with Mary and raise those children. And the final, the final conflict of Christ is will he will he stay with this life that the devil's given him or will he sacrifice himself and go to the cross and then the second film that kind of reminds me or, or we can draw parallels with with Mr. Miracle Tom's King Tom King's Mr. Miracle is Jacob's Ladder and in that film we have a war vet so in some ways that character is similar to Tom King, Tom King's work, a war vet dealing with trauma, who doesn't know where reality is. He's, he's bombarded with experiences that do not fit into normal reality. And here, the very beginning of the, of the issue, Mr. Miracle is, ponders the question, can he, can he, the man who can escape from everything, hence his name, Mr. Miracle, can he escape the one thing that no one can escape from, and that's death? And so then we're given this shot, this shot, this frame, full body, full body, full <laughs> double page spread 
of Mr. Miracle committing suicide, attempting to commit suicide. And in the director's cut for the issue, Tom King says that to make him appear Christ-like. So even within the script, that parallel to Christ is drawn out. And then, so there are two, two, sort of two themes, two grand themes in Mr. Miracle. And one is that of the Christ and the other is that of reality. And we are given a hint very early on that somehow the reality is wrong. And so we know that throughout the series, this question about reality is going to be the puzzle that we as the readers have to deal with. And it's not just on this page, but it's very striking because he says to his wife, Big Barda, your eyes are the wrong color. Oops, go this way. There we go. I thought your eyes were blue. And she says, no, no, my eyes have always been brown. You're making a mistake. And so then this most intimate scene between, between characters, between husband and wife, becomes menacing somehow because you don't turn to your wife and say your eyes are the wrong color without having to question everything you thought was, was true and real. And this, the first issue, these two, these two grand ideas, that of sacrifice and that of questioning reality are presented to us, the reader. And they're done in the context of comic book superhero and also domestic comedy, domestic drama. Those two things will be the most prominent, the most prominent aspects of the comic book. And one one part that makes the comic book really special is the mundane scenes, the the arguments between Mr. Miracle and Big Barda about very trivial things, and and then the questioning, the the soul searching. He's he's a character dealing with grief, and so. These grand, these grand ideas that, that would be right at home with Kirby are contrasted with more earthly and mundane drama. And that's it. That's it for my review of issue one. I hope you'll join me soon for my review of issue two of Mr. Miracle. That's all for now. Take care and be well.